case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1982, the United States Supreme Court heard a pivotal equal protection case, Mississippi University for Women v. Hogan, a battle against educational gender discrimination. Joe Hogan, a qualified male nurse, found himself barred from attending Mississippi University for Women's MUW Nursing School. The reason? His gender. The state-supported school traditionally admitted only female students, leading Hogan to pursue legal action, arguing that the policy violated the Equal Protection Clause of the 14th Amendment. Hogan's initial plea was denied by the district court, which sparked an appeal that led to the Fifth Circuit Court. Here, the tables turned, as the Court of Appeals reversed the original decision shedding light on the unconstitutional nature of the gender-specific admission policy. The overarching contention was that gender-based discrimination is unconstitutional unless it serves an important government objective and is substantially related to remedying a disadvantage experienced by one sex. This legal hurdle demanded from the state an exceedingly persuasive justification for such discrimination. However, Mississippi failed to argue convincingly that women lacked sufficient opportunities in obtaining nursing training or leadership positions in the profession, thus leaving their claim of compensatory purpose unjustifiable. The Supreme Court concurred with the Court of Appeals, ruling the prohibition of men at MUW's nursing school unconstitutional under the 14th Amendment. The decision emphasized that the school's policy perpetuated harmful gender stereotypes and lacked a compelling reason for gender-based exclusion. Furthermore, the state's attempt to justify the policy through congressional legislation was dismissed, asserting that Congress cannot weaken or restrict the guarantees of the 14th Amendment. In conclusion, the Supreme Court's decision in Mississippi University for Women v. Hogan was a pivotal moment in challenging and eliminating educational gender discrimination, affirming that policies violating the Equal Protection Clause do not pass constitutional muster, even with alleged legislative support. The court states unequivocally, Gender should not be a barrier to opportunity or education. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.